We had just came back from Manchester and one of the most exhausting tasks after our trip is usually picking these leaves. Well, we don't have any choice because if we don't have this spinach soup or hewedu soup at home, it's as if we don't have any soup or any food at home. On this day, we have this whole box of jute leaves popularly called hewedu in Yoruba language which we needed to pick and pack in the freezer. We also have the African spinach leaves, which I normally wash and keep in the freezer for the day I would need to cook them. Since this is part of our everyday food, it's not strange to the kids that we needed to do the stressful picking. Initially, they derive joy in picking, but after some time, they just get bored and they leave the whole thing for me to deal with. But here, I promise to reward them with one candy each if they manage to do um, the thing, like one candy, one candy for one bundle. <laughs> So it was like a competition of how many bundles each of them can pick. That was fun, right? Yeah, it was really fun because I had to watch them doing this thing with joy. They were not thinking of the stress that come with it again. And we did this for a long time. I had this, my little one disturbing, wanting me to roll that thing over and over again. He couldn't really pick. Instead, he was throwing these things around. So... I needed to just distract him, you know, so we could focus on what we were doing. And this was me and the girls. You see the girl, one of my girls dancing, having fun. <laughs> she has not even started doing anything. But this is uh, usually how we pick the leaves before uh, blending and then cooking them. Because it was getting late, we went back inside the house while I got uh, a little from what I picked. Um, I washed and I blended just a little bit so that we could have something to eat for the night. Then um, we all continued picking. This time around, my husband was back from work and he was able to join us to, to pick the leaves because we still had few left. To pick as you can see the thing was so much they were so much a whole box but the good thing is this would last us for a long time like it will it can last us for three months depending on how how much we hit and how much we stay at home like if we actually don't if we don't travel to anywhere in between then the following day I had everything done and I just wash them I blend them and after washing and blending in my blender little by little so it don't so my blender don't get um, choked then i put them in a large pot to cook doesn't really take much time to cook at all it takes just a few minutes because sometimes when we overcook it uh eventually we might uh, lose the nutrients in it so once we see that green once we see that it's turned green compared to the initial color we know that it's done so once it's done uh, before putting down i had other spices like um, seasoning and i do had um grounded crayfish as well i do had grounded crayfish to eat you know just to add more nutrients and one of the things I learned in order to make it, to keep the thing dry is to not put salt while it is still on the, on the stove. So we, we usually put salt after we put it down from the, uh, from the stove because they believe, I don't know, that if you had salt at this point while still cooking, with time it, was, it won't draw as much as you wanted. So. So these are the only two things that I added while still cooking. Then after putting down, that is when I had the, um, <laughs> the salt. And when I tell people that I cook fresh, they usually make a face like, are you, are you, are you joking? You know, they find it difficult to believe, but the thing is, 
if I have my sliced green leaves, if I have this, my blended thing, if I have my boiled pepper mix, if I have my grilled chicken or fish to start with, there's no way I would spend so much time in the kitchen. And at the end of the day, we'll still have, we'll still eat, I mean, food without going through the process of microwaving anything. I just, it just makes me feel comfortable to do that instead of having to cook everything, then bring it out to microwave. No, I'd rather have them prepared this way and once it's time to eat i bring them like in the morning and then you know just leave them for the whole day and they, they just get the foods themselves yeah this is the spinach soup the spinach cutting wasn't stressful i usually don't ask people for help in that aspect apart from asking them to pack in the bag after i slice that's for the leaves sorry this is for the soup this is spinach and okra mixed together but I also have the spinach leaf, which I use for um, vegetable soup. And this is it. That one I can put salt while cooking. It doesn't have to come down from the stove. That one, that one is okay to put salt while cooking. Well, for me, I don't do anything alone in this house. For every kitchen task or chores, everyone gets involved. Including my husband when he's not working or when he's not resting from an overnight shift or something you know every hand are always on deck i don't like to do things all by myself so it makes the work easier less stressful right how about you do you know anything about these green leaves would you like to try it have you heard about it if you have these leaves in your um in your tribe what do you do with them thank you for watching don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, don't forget to give me ideas on what type of video you would like to see on my channel and I'll be happy to share with you. Until next time, eat healthy, eat green, exercise, have fun and enjoy. Bye-bye.